Welcome to Paris, Texas. Population, 26,000. It's hard to be a stranger in Paris just because everybody knows each other. And where football is family. Our kids know without a doubt that he loves them and he cares for them. And I, I'm the biggest cheerleader on the sideline there is until somebody gets hurt that I got to work. In 1995, Chad Helbert became the first athletic trainer in Paris high school history, a title he still holds to this day. Snap is good. Without him, I don't think we'd be able to play like we do. We would, definitely wouldn't be able to play on the level we do. Harris comes back to win it in overtime. The Wildcats' run to the state quarterfinals hasn't been without adversity. We had one positive case to come in on the varsity side. In September, one player tested positive for COVID-19, causing the whole team to quarantine and forfeit their first two district games. Sadly, loss has shadowed Chad throughout the year. On August 7th, Chad's stepmother Jane died in the hospital after a series of health problems. But due to safety protocols, her family, including Chad's father, could not be by her side. And uh, he said he'd never let a family member ever be alone again at the hospital. Chad's father served in the U.S. Army, a fighter in every sense of the word. But after a battle with COVID followed by pneumonia, Alan Helberg passed away in his home on Thanksgiving. And I basically just put my hand on his chest and said, you know, Dad, we're good. Love you. We're at peace. Took about four more breaths. That was it. The next night, Chad was back on the sideline. You know, that football team's my family, too. And uh, I knew I had to be there. Uh, that's where he'd want me. Uh, he would probably be beating the snot out of me right now if I hadn't been there. And there's a photo of Chad staring at the American flag during the national anthem, thinking about his father. Just my dad's service. Uh, he was, uh, he loved the country. He loved fighting for this country. The Wildcats fought their way to victory to keep their season alive. And after the whistle blew and the regional semifinal trophy was handed to the players, they ran over and gave it to Chad. I told him we loved him and that win was for him. We did this for your dad. We're sorry you lost him, but you know, we're gonna keep winning. We're gonna keep playing for your dad. And it, it, that meant a lot. Welcome to Paris, Texas. Uh, we got great kids. Where football is family. And we just told him how much we appreciate him, how much we love him, and we wouldn't be here without him. In Paris, I'm Jonah Javad.